You have a glass and you pour water into it. Okay. And the water takes the shape of the glass. Absolutely. Okay. If you're waxing your car and then you hose it down, what does the water do on the surface of the car? It beads up and rolls off. It, it beads up. Not always rolling off, depending on the Depends slope. Depends on the slope. Okay. It beads up. Right. Well, if it beat it up, it didn't need a receptacle. So why do you need a receptacle when you drink water? Because it will just come out of me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it can't occupy that much volume without right. spilling onto the ground. Right. So what's going on? There's a force called surface tension on liquids, where all the molecules in the liquids, there's a force field among them, mm. okay? They're called the Van der Waals for forces, and they all move among each other, but at the surface, there are no Van der Waals forces above it because there's no liquid there. Right. So the net effect of all these forces is to create a slightly more concentrated film of molecules at the surface. So it becomes like a net? L like a, like a, a membrane. A membrane. A membrane. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's why you can toss a leaf onto the water and it doesn't just sink. Right. It'll just sit, it's, on top. It's sit on top of right. the membrane. Nice. Okay. Also, if you fill a vessel very slowly and very carefully, even a glass of water, you you will see a convex curve on the surface of the water. Really? Yes. Okay. As you come up to oh, the top. You know what? That has definitely been done. Uh, when you get to the top of the glass, if you overfill it, there's a quick little point where the it's, water is sitting above the just lip. Just above the lip. That little bit. And it doesn't spill over it the side. That's surface tension. That's amazing, and I love it. That's surface tension. Okay. Yes. So that surface tension is not enough to ball up this much water. But it is strong enough to ball up that I much water. Gotcha. Okay? Because above a certain blob of water the weight of the water becomes greater than the surface tension and it can't hold it out. Oh my God, it's like a giant ant at that point.